A rare white tiger living at Indonesia's largest zoo is emaciated. Shanti's skin is covered in ugly lesions, and she suffers from back problems. She has trouble walking because she's kept in a cage that's far too small for her. Shanti is one of many creatures in trouble at the scandalous Surabaya Zoo, plagued by a lack of funding for and understanding of animal welfare. The pelicans are packed so tightly they can barely unfurl their wings. Animals, including the sun bears, beg visitors for food. If they're lucky, they get something nutritious like peanuts. But there's far more dangerous material around for them to consume. I believe that a lot of the dead animals in the zoo are because of the consumption of goods made of plastic, one of which is plastic bags. That's what happened to a giraffe that recently died. Doctors found more than 20 pounds of plastic in his stomach. The death of 30-year-old Kliwon prompted activists to campaign for the banning of plastic at the zoo. There even appears to be a problem with caretakers stealing animals and selling them off. Three rare Komodo dragons disappeared from the zoo last year. Some say a staff rift has made it hard to improve the horrific conditions generally. The negative stigma that has come to the zoo is caused by a number of management changes from one group to another. They take advantage of events like the death of animals and sick animals to create bad names for each other. Even if some of the animals get decent care, one advisor put into place after a negative report two years ago appears ready to wash his hands of the zoo as it is. He says privatizing the place or at least transferring many of the animals away may be the best options. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.